In this video on C Sharp Basics, we'll be discussing how to debug your code. Now there are three types of bugs that you'll have in your code. The first type of bug we'll talk about is the compile time error. Now the compile time error is an error in the way the code is written that violates the C Sharp syntax. These are the easiest types of errors to locate, primarily because Visual Studio gives us the red squiggly line whenever there is a problem. For example, you may be missing a semicolon or the parentheses at the end of a method name. A runtime error is an error in the way the application runs. Usually, it's a bad assignment or a calculation. Runtime errors are only really found when an application is ran or if you can use unit testing. Now, unit testing is beyond the scope of this course, but I do recommend that when you move beyond this course, you investigate what unit testing is and learn how to utilize it. Now, runtime errors do pop up an error message box during the runtime of your application. An example of a runtime error would be division by zero or the index out of range exception that we saw when working with arrays. The third type of coding bug is a logical error. Now, a logical error is code that is syntactically correct and does not break the application, but the results are unexpected. Logical errors are the most difficult to avoid and locate, but they can be avoided with proper unit testing. The biggest problem with logical errors is that there are no warning messages. There's just simply bad results. So how do we find and fix these errors? Well, first, if you have an error message, try to understand it and what its related message means. Then identify the location of the error. One important tool that we have as developers are breakpoints. Breakpoints stop the code before it's executed at a specific spot. This allows you to step through the code line by line from the breakpoint to watch the results of the code to see what happens at each step. Another important thing to do is watch your variable values to determine if there is a problem with an assignment to the variable. Then you may need to determine if an earlier breakpoint is needed to find the actual source of the problem. Perhaps it's not where the error shows up, but an earlier point in your code that is the actual cause of the problem. One particular key to good debugging is to comment out the bad code and not delete it and then fix your errors. This will allow you to return your code back to a proper state if in fact that particular part of the code is not the problem. Then see if the code can be stepped through without an error once you've arranged all your fixes. And finally, give the application one more run all the way through from the beginning to verify that the error is in fact fixed. Debugging your code is an important skill to have as developers. The quicker you can resolve a problem with your code, the quicker you can get back to writing the important stuff. These are just some of the steps I recommend, but you're certainly welcome to come up with your own steps. Whatever your steps are, just try to be efficient. In the next video, we'll do a demonstration of the three different bugs and how to diagnose and resolve each one of them.